Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the double pack of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise. So before I open it up, let's have a little quick look at the box. Because I do like with NECA, they do have some nice box, uh, the box designs on them. So first off, when you look in the front, obviously you see uh, Casey Jones and Raphael in the background. I did say I got this off Zavi. They were having a sale on, so I think I picked it up for under 40 quid, which I think is a good deal. I think I picked up for like 35, something like that, which I think is a great deal. Seems you're getting two figures out of this and all the, the, all, all the accessories in it as well. So the box is beautiful, just the same as pretty much you've seen any other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie uh, boxes. It is pretty much the same design of uh, the uh, movie. And then on the side there, we've got the Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon logo at the top. And then we have a bit of a thing of Casey Jones. Which I got a feeling he, the actor for this, didn't give his rights for the for the look. But I, I'm pretty much sure I've heard that there is a figure out of him with his mask off now. So don't quote me on that, but I think it is. And then on the other side of here then, we get Raphael in disguise, or one of the worst disguises in movie history, to be honest. So, very nice box indeed. And then on the back end, you got... There's the main turtles, but there, and then you've got some of the scenes from the movie, and when they have their fight, and uh, Casey Jones wins, he does. So, and then we get a nice little write up end of it as well. So, very nice indeed. So, I will open this bad boy up and be right back. Right, so I've unpacked Casey Jones first, so we will take a quick look at him. So, we'll have a look at the accessories because he comes with quite a lot, to be honest. So let's have a look at his weaponry. So the first thing thing, we get the old golf bag that he carries and he keeps all his weapons in. So very nice old fashioned one. It is, it looks like, but very nicely made. Nice plastic, does look like a golf bag. Got uh, very nice brown, light brown and then dark brown on the edges. It is a nice little uh, loose thing there that can go on his shoulder, it looks like. So does it go over his head? Yeah, it does as well. So, yeah, fits nicely over his head. So, yeah, you can display him with all his uh, utilities, which is very nice indeed. It is. Then we get the uh, hockey ones. Are they both hockey? I'm not I'm not up on my ice hockey or anything. It looks like one's a thing. If I'm not mistaken, this is the goalies one, isn't it? So you get a goalies uh, one and a normal one. So very nice. The, it is some... Very nice uh, design on it. It is, especially with the tape around it as well. It is nice texture to it as well, and yeah, the stick looks very wooden as well, even though it's plastic. It is, it does look like a hockey stick. Very nice indeed. And then you have, I'm not sure what that says on there. It is someone who knows ice hockey or maybe knows the make of these uh, can tell me in the comments. Would be great. It is. And we have the goalies one, but there it looks like. So I'm not too sure what it is, to be honest. You know, someone might correct me, but again, you see some of the tape there, and it looks like worn dirt on them as well. Very nice indeed. It is, and that's yeah, it looks like wooden as well. It looks wooden as well. So that, that's very nice indeed. And then we get on to the cricket bat, which has pretty much the same tape as the other ice hockey thing but there looks exactly like a cricket bat i know a little bit about cricket being from britain and that but yeah very nice indeed it is got a very lovely texture and design on them as well they, they all look wooden they really do they've done such a brilliant paint job on these very nice indeed i've said that quite a few times now which i'm gonna say it a lot more probably in this video it is but yeah very very nice then we get the two baseball bats. Pretty much identical they are. So I'll put one down. There's no point in showing them both. So a bit dark brown it is. And the same tape design as on the other stuff. Very stunning indeed. It is. Not much, not much really more to say about that. It ain't. And then the last weapon he has is a driver. It is from Golf. This is a bit flimsy. It is. It be very careful. I probably would not um, put this in his hand. I want, because just in case of me, I'll probably keep it in uh, 
in that I will just to keep it a bit safe I will keep it in the golf thing just to be a bit safe but yeah looks very nice it does nicely little design on the bottom if we can get a little bit of a focus on that yeah so look a bit better on my hand but there it is so very nice uh, nicely designed the black and silver really makes it pop a little bit but yeah you get a little bit of on the if you can see it on the camera you do see some uh, marks on the uh, shaft as well it is so a little bit of design on that as well so yes very nice he also comes with a load of hands so he comes with two uh, one two three pairs of hands so obviously we'll have a little quick look at these so he comes with a nice little point in hand i'll bring them all up i will there's no point of doing them one at a time so he's got a nice little point in hand but there one that's just straight out balled up fist with a little bit of a hole where you can get put some of the weapons in uh oh pretty much all the same the other ones are pretty much all balled up ones you can put the weapons in so very nice indeed i probably will display him with probably one of these and maybe one of the um balled up fists ones. but yeah very nice uh things so i will put one of them on there eh? so it looks like this should come off pretty easy yeah you got the thin ones that come in and out so it should be a little bit easier to put the fists in but be a bit careful just in case you put a bit too much pressure on it and it breaks so let's have a look at casey jones very nice uh, figure it is got a lot of detail on him it is if i can I'm trying not to break the arm to be on ah, there we are i got it around now so very nice indeed we have a little look at the helmet the old hockey helmet ice hockey one it is with his long hair very nice it is i like how it goes into his hair but there as well let's push out the one side not the uh, camera's not focusing that properly it ain't so i do like how the strap goes into his hair but there and it separates it a little bit it is his uh sleeveless de denim jacket but there probably can come off if you wanted to it looks like it does it could probably come off you got his dirty little shirt on underneath and all that it is some little dirt marks on it and the creases very nice indeed uh the trousers are probably uh, the worst thing but then again they do look he is wearing sweatpants and be honest so they do look a bit like that they do nice little creases on them as well it is and then his black shoes which have a little bit of detail on them as well as you can see with the laces which the laces were maybe a different color make them stand out a little bit but a little nitpick to be honest it is so very nice good articulation in the arms the shoulders the elbows the wrists which you get from necker figures head spins all the way around and again and the legs don't well they do split quite a far but i don't want to push them too much i don't and then we got the knees we have and then we got the the ankles which don't really move that much the ankles don't so that's a, that one goes up back and forth and they do spin all the way around it is so not too bad not too bad very nice figure indeed it is so you could probably yeah like i said put most of his things on there let's um Let's put the cricket bat in his hand because that's how he takes out Raphael in the movie it is so he looks pretty good with the things in and then I'm pretty sure these all should fit in his golf bag so let's have a quick look Ooh, it's a bit hard to get that one in maybe if i fiddled it around a little bit they probably would but yeah looks pretty good like Addy does 
look up good up on the shelf and that and yeah so that's Casey Jones so I'll be right back when I will get Raphael out but before I do that we will have a look I forgot to mention straight away the back cover you get inside which is a nice little sewer so you could probably use that for the turtles and splinter and that and then have Casey Jones and that to the other side and Shredder and the foot soldiers and all that to one side so again very nice little backdrop you get with it so I will be right back so we get on to Raphael now who is normally probably one of the favourites of the fans probably with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles probably him and Michelangelo I was always a Leonardo fan when I was a kid and all that but I think Mikey has uh, become one of my favourites right now so he doesn't come with as many accessories as Casey Jones but he does come with quite a few so first off let's have a look at the hands because I probably won't replace the hands because he's got the fist ones where you he holds the is it the size is a sign size I can't remember what these are called now but I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments hopefully so we got the fists and they're pretty much just point in hands and that they are but very nicely detailed they are beautiful green on them it is and then you got the creases of the palms and that so yeah you get two pairs two extra pairs there is so I probably uh, I might, when I display it, change one of them over. But I probably just have him with both of the weapons in his hands. To be honest, it is. But yeah, very nice set of different hands. If you want a different pose, like, like I said, he comes like pretty much all the Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles. They come with a slice of pizza, very nicely detailed cheese, and uh, some of the toppings on it. A little bit of the tomato you can see as well, and then on the bottom end the bread so very nice indeed also comes with a hat which he it probably does go on which i will have a look later and all that because he does come with two spare uh like the bandana type things to put on the thing i think to use for the hat so they're very nicely designed as well lovely the creases on are very nice indeed so yeah stunning it is and then we get the hat which is very nice indeed and hopefully it'll fit on his head pretty good it is but let's get on to Raphael comes with his overcoat and his backpack like I said one of the worst disguises in movie history it is but you can looks like you can take this off I'm not going to attempt it on camera I'm not but it looks like you can change it so it, it does come off nicely because it's pretty much like a little if you can see there it does look like they do come off and the backpack and the coat it does come off but it looks exactly like the movie it does very nice indeed like i said the articulation his head spins all the way around it looks like goes up and down the arms the elbows fists go all the way around as well good artic not brilliant articulation on the thing well a little bit better not too bad actually spreads pretty wide and then you've got the knees and a bend and the feet are a little bit better than the casey jones one it is but if we have a look at the face end as well if we have a look let's have a look so the body is pretty much they've sold these separate and all that and in four packs and all that they're all the same mold they are I would have minded an extra head, like a more. He's got an angry face on, but he does get angrier and all that in the movie and all. I would have really liked more, more of an open, wide mouth that's got his teeth gritted. I would have loved to see have that one, but very nice indeed. It is, and like I said, when you look at the face, looks exactly from Raphael from the movie as well. He's got. It looks like he's got like a little scar on his face, but there, which is in the movie, I think. Beautiful artwork on the bandana type uh, thing around his eyes it is you can see the nice little patterns uh, he's got a little, like a little pattern on his head as well different colors darker on that so yeah very nice looking uh, figure indeed and then get if i can get a little bit of the shell on the back as well very nice very nice a little bit of scars and all that like scratches on his uh thing uh, on his uh, shell as well and then you've got the leather belt then around which is very nice indeed which you can if I look up for you you can put the weapons in if you take the um, top off if you take the coat off and a little bit of a thing for there 
so the weapons fit nicely in his hands it does and maybe you can put one underneath as well it is does it fit nicely under there it does indeed so you could probably have him like that or both upwards um pizza should fit in his hand as well looking at that but i won't display him with a pizza i'll probably leave that with uh, michelangelo when i have him up and done so the next thing in let's have a look at the hat to see if i can get the hat on so obviously this bandana part does come off if we put the hat on him in doesn't fit on beautifully unfortunately and i take it it's going to be a difficult one I think to put on it is looks like it's going to be a difficult one so yeah unfortunately I'm not going to mess around on video doing it but hopefully I will get it done when I display them in the future so that it does fit on him a little bit it doesn't fit on him perfectly unfortunately it does it does pop off and that it is so that's a little bit disappointing with that but maybe if you didn't have the backpack probably take the backpack off him it might be a little bit better so i'll put that one on it for the time being because they do come on and off pretty easy it is and i will change one of the hands quickly just to show you it's pretty much similar to the casey jones one it is but a little bit thicker so i will put that one on so easy enough to put on changes nicely but be a bit careful they are a bit thin they could snap so yeah very nice set indeed and they bo do both look very movie accurate and yeah another two to add to the collection i think i still gotta collect a few more to finish off my movie collection thing i ain't going into the animated ones as well it's just way too many it is but i will finish off the movie ones if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.